Hey yo, what's up my friends, it's Patrick here and welcome to my finishing tutorial for FIFA 16. Today I want to show you some tips and tricks about how to easily score goals. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Other tutorials I've done so far can be found in this playlist, just click on the screen now to get there or follow the link in the description. I will start off with the basic controls first. After that we will carry on with gameplay scenes and at the end we will finish off with effective tips and tricks about scoring easy goals. First of all you can aim with the left stick. The left stick should always show into the direction where you want to finish at. A normal shot can be done with just pressing the shooting button. Generally you can define the power of the shot with the duration you are holding this button. The longer you are holding it, the more powerful the shot will be. Then you can do a finesse shot with holding RB while pressing the shooting button. RB is R1 on the PlayStation. A chip can be done with holding LB while pressing the shooting button. LB is L1 on the PlayStation. Furthermore, you can perform some trick shots with holding LT while pressing the shooting button. LT is L2 on the PlayStation. So these were the different controls, let's have a look at some gameplay scenes. There are a few specific situations for every finishing type which I will show you now. First of all the normal shot. It's a powerful shot which is perfect to score goals. It doesn't have much curve, it's more or less based on power. I'm using it in 90% of all situations because it's very effective. Especially in the penalty box or from close range, this type of shot is very good. It's also the type of shot you should use on long shots because it's very powerful as I just told you. A detailed tutorial about long shots can be found in the description or when you click on the screen now. I would recommend to check it out if you want to learn how to easily score goals with long shots. Then we are coming to the finesse shot. The finesse shot is a shot with a lot of curve. This type is very effective if you want to curl the ball in, for example from the edge of the penalty box. But also when you are running straight towards the goalkeeper, you can use this type to shoot the ball around the keeper into the net. Another shooting type is the chip. The chip shots got a lot harder this year, that's why there are not that many situations where you can use this type. When you see the goalkeeper is off his line, you can attempt scoring with the chip. The actual power depends on the distance to the goal and the player you are using. After a few tries, you will have a feeling for it. Last but not least, we got the trick shots. A trick shot can be a scissor kick for example, but also a diving header or a no look shot. Whatever you can imagine. This type of finish is just to show off, but if you score a goal with it, it just looks amazing. Especially Rabona shots are very sexy this year. If you want to learn how to do them, go ahead and check out my Rabona shot tutorial by clicking on the screen now or following the link in the description. Alright my friends, these were the different types of shots which you can use to finish off an attack in FIFA 16. Now I want to go deeper into detail with a few tips and tricks. First of all, it's very important to finish with the strong foot of your player. This is pretty obvious. So when you got the chance to decide which foot you want to take, take the strong one. Then we got different positions on the field where the aiming is decisive. When you cut in from the side, a finish into the far corner is the most effective one. Aim to the far corner with the left stick and take off a powerful shot. If you like to, you can also go for a finesse shot, but in my eyes a powerful finish is more effective. A little exception of this rule is that when you are near the 6 yard box. A powerful near post finish is the best solution from this position as you can see in the background. When you are in a central position, you should try to go for the side of the goal where the strong foot of your player is. So if your player is right footed for example, make sure to finish to the right side of the goal. This is also helpful when it comes to one on one situations. Here you can perfectly use the finesse shot to curl the ball around the keeper with the strong foot of your player. This is a very sure goal. On top of it, I made the experience that a finish from the central position of the penalty box is very effective this year. You can see the area in the background. Do always aim for the top corner of the goal and take the normal shooting type for a powerful finish. Again, finish it to the side of the goal where the strong foot of your player is. At the end we will take a look on finishing after crosses. 
when you want to finish off a cross, for example with a header, make sure to finish against the movement of the goalkeeper if possible. So when the cross comes in from the right side for example, do also finish to the right side of the goal. This is easy but very effective. The goalkeeper just cannot react quickly enough and the chance to be successful is very high. Alright my friends, that's it. I guess you saw that there are a few situations where a specific finishing type is very effective. When you follow my tips and tricks, you will score a lot of goals. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to me for more. Check out the playlist I've mentioned at the beginning and I wish you all the best. See you next time, I'm out. Peace.